Hey, how's it going? And this is part two of my motion mixer series, quote unquote. What I'm gonna do here is kind of pick up where I left off from the last video. And what we're gonna try to do is to blend two together. And I realized I haven't really gone over the motion mixer in too much uh, detail. So I thought I would just kind of give a brief overview of some of the controls here. I've already got my actor, one actor, and you can see there's 68 components or pieces to it. And that's basically the whole rig. Up here is click add motion. And that's for when you wanna add a motion clip to the timeline to add a motion clip you can come down here to the motion menu and you can load up your motions that you've rendered out you can also create motions as well right here in the layout as i've shown how to do previously now right now i've got two motions loaded in here one is a long distance walk and one is the character just standing and laughing to add the motion then i would just come here let's say i'm going to start with the walking i would click on long distance walks add motion and then just click on this track and there the motion is now if i click timeline up here i can move the cursor around so just click up there and if i hit play there's my one animation now add transition is when you want you put two so let's say i want to add a second motion to this clip so i'll go add motion come down here to the timeline she's laughing and then i'll just click right here on the timeline and it comes right in now i've added two motions if i wanted to smooth the transition between them and this is not going to be a smooth transition the way it is right now i can add a transition and try to see what I can get out of that sometimes it helps and sometimes it, it doesn't edit motion is for when you want to go into layout and actually edit the motion so if i click on the clip and go edit motion all the keyframes come down here and i can try to make some adjustments that way if i want i think that that would be a challenge if you didn't have a rig set up on it and so i can just discard the changes there okay a bake range is you click on that for when you want so if i got two clips here and i want to combine them together i would use bake range to create a new motion clip out of other motion clips channel editor is for you when you want to go into one of the channels on your rig if i click on it i can disable a channel if for some reason it's giving me a problem or there's some sort of issue related to that channel I can disable I don't honestly use that too much and then offset editor that's what we're going to be using today and that's when we're trying to combine two motions but the actual animations are in different locations so we can play this and you can kind of get an idea of what I'm talking about so I'm just going to come here to the oh something else that's important if you press alt on the keyboard and you left click you can actually scroll down your timeline and i'm sure that's something that you're probably going to want to do at some point so remember alt and left click you can scroll along your motion mixer timeline when i first came into this i was like well, how the heck do i even <laughs> and then if you right click let's see here if you if you press alt and right click you can move this which is your that being alt there it is i can move my in frame marker right there and reset my in frame so now if i click here also on the main controls i can hit play and this shows you kind of our animation but watch what happens see when it goes to laughing how it goes back to the position where so that's a problem right so let me just pull out a little bit here so you can see this a little bit better so if i go back to the beginning and i hit play there's our character but it pops back to the first position where the laughing animation starts. Now, I how do I connect those two? That's a that's a, pro, a big problem, right? So how would I connect these two motions? Now, right now, I'm just going to alt, click with Alt and go to the forward here. You see, I'm not exactly on the... Because you notice this animation starts with him in the T-pose. Her in the T-pose. So what I can do is I can actually just go over here. Here, if I want to change the frame and type in zero... And now it doesn't start in T-Post like that. So you can change the frame over here like you normally do, the start and end frames. So anyway, let's go ahead and watch that one more time real quick. So they're walking, walking, walking. That's all good. But then the laughing animation pulls her all the way back there, which is what we don't want. Now this is where the offset editor comes in. So to fix that, if I click on the laughing motion clip and go to offset editor, so I'm on the laughing clip, I can offset from the long walk distance. So I click that, and then I have to set the change the offset type to relative, and just click relative. And that should take care of that particular problem. So now if we play it back, they should be combined. Okay. So that's how one way you would do that. Now, let me switch into camera view here and show you something here. I'm gonna have to pull this camera back, so make sure I'm clicked on the camera and I'm on the Z-axis. 
I'll pull back here. Okay, so let me give you one other, like a tip or a trick. When you're thinking of combining clips, this is a lot like when you're playing pool, you're not just making your shot, you're looking at where that shot is gonna set you up for your next shot. So when you're doing these, putting these motion clips together, you wanna think about where does your animation end, where does it end, and where does the other animation begin? So the problem here is one problem you could see potentially is that on the end of my walking clip, her foot is in the kind of in the air and that's not necessarily the best place for it to be if I want to com combine it with a, the next animation, which is of her just standing. So you'll see her foot just stays kind of stuck in the position where it was walking. Now I could try to add a transition to smooth that, but it may not be able to connect uh, that discrepant of a of a motion from where it was when the end frame of her walking to the start frame of her standing there laughing so when you're rendering out your clips just remember think of what's the next clip you want to match this to and try to end that motion clip with a character in a posture that can match up with the next motion clip that's kind of a wordy way to say it all but just think about what i could do is i could actually re-render this motion clip out bake it out and have her foot in a different position instead of where it is right now. Now the other thing you can do is just simply move the camera. So like let's say I'm combining these characters and I see there's this issue with her foot kind of being suspended. Then what I would do for the camera is I would just, I could just punch in and not even show this area of the character and then just continue on. So let me just show you a couple more things. So if I hit Alt and I'll drag to the end of the timeline here and left click, let's go ahead and add another motion clip. So we'll add this clip, another clip here, go add. And this time we're gonna add it on the next track below. And let's just see what that looks like. So I'm gonna click uh, Alt, click again and right click and I'll move my in frame to there. I might have to back up my camera here a little bit too. So let me let me see where I'm at. Okay, let's hit play and see what we got. So then she stops, but notice her foot is kind of in the air. And then she starts walking again, but notice it goes back to the her original position on that clip. So I hit F2. Oh, it's down here. Oh, let me bring this down. Okay, so what I need to do is the offset editor for that because this clip is taking her back. So she's here, right? But then when it goes to walking, it takes her back to the original position. So we need to offset that. So I click on this clip. I go to offset editor. I'm going to offset from laughing and it's going to be relative. And you can see it's already kind of corrected it. So let's let's take a look at this one and see how that looks. I'll put this back in the beginning. And that's not bad right there. But let's say you wanted to try to smooth that transition even, even more. What you could do is you would click on this clip here, the first clip, add transition, and then click on the second clip. And then you can play with these settings there's no specific advice I can give you on that other than just to adjust it back and forth to see if it makes it better or worse, the transition. And then if you want to try to smooth the transition even more, what you can do is click on the transition, right click and go to edit transition. And you'll see it here. So this is kind of confusing what you're actually looking at here. So the vertical range of this clip represents the percentage of the transition. So you don't usually want to change this from zero or one. Zero percent means that it's 100% of the start motion of the transition. And 100% means that it's zero percent of the in motion so this is basically so about the only thing you can really do with this because you don't want to change these from the values is you can try to smooth them out so one thing you could do is if you click on the that keyframe there at 100 percent, you could change it to one just to smooth it out but you're not changing the value so you can click on there and also change that to one and again, just try to smooth it out a little bit more that way. And you can experiment and see what you get again by clicking and dragging this. So if I alt click here now, alt and right click, I can drag this, uh, alt, I'm sorry, alt and right click, I can tighten that up. And essentially there, I've got my whole animation. 
Now this goes to frame 453. If I wanted to bake this whole animation out now, I would just go to bake range and say yes. And I could go here and I could call this walk, laugh, walk and go okay and now this should render out a combined animation clip so a lot of this motion mixer is kind of rendering out your motion clips carefully so that the the stop and start actions match align with each other so you want to be careful in how you render out your motion clips to begin with and then when you bring them in to combine them sometimes they'll just match up because you did a good job already or you can add a transition to them once you add a transition you can right click into it and go in and try to edit it even more and smooth it out a little bit more but to adjust the transition altogether you just simply click and drag these to adjust the transition itself and you just have to play around to get it how you'd like it and that's basically the motion mixer i would say it's not something you can usually just jump right into i have found that it's taken a few hours to playing around with it to get comfortable with it and so i would set some time aside and play around with just combining some animations and see how far you go and remember you can cheat a little bit with the camera if you're not quite getting the lineups that you want remember you can edit between combinations of clips to put together a cohesive animation that looks good so i hope you found this helpful thanks so much for watching